so that is our six six coming like this this is line six where is six here and six, six is coming like this this way so that it's meeting six here it's meeting six here so the next one is here we have one and seven let us take it from the top first one and seven one and seven is here so where is one here one is at the top one is at the top take one to the 45 degree line is there so from there you take it upward Take it upward. That is one. One going to one will be here. Now we have one and seven along this line. So let us take one. Seven. Seven. Seven is at the bottom. Take it horizontally. Seven is at the bottom. It is here. So it up that is one that is seven look at it seven is going this way this is seven what is seven here seven is coming like this and going this will seven meet seven will be here now the next one is twelve and eight look at it look at this point twelve and eight Twelve and eight, like this one, like this. Um, let us go and trace twelve and eight here. This is twelve on the same line as two. Twelve is on the same line with two. This is two and this is twelve. So we trace it. We have ruled that already. This is twelve and where is twelve here? So it is here. Twelve is here see trace it to 12 here this is 12 trace it to 12 here this is 12 so then the next one is we have 12 and 8 where is 8 we need to trace it to this is 8 we have done 8 to this is line 8 this one the second one is 8 and where is 8 here 8 is here coming like this so it's meeting here. It is here. If you trace this one, it goes to it. You see it. If you trace it this way, it also it also goes to it. That is it. So the next one now is we have done twelve and eight, eleven and nine, which is this point. Eleven and nine. Eleven and nine. Eleven and nine. That's the second one from the bottom. What is eleven here? This is nine here. This is nine. Nine. Here. This here. And eleven. Still on this one. This in line. What is eleven? This is eleven. Coming this way. This meeting it here. So now we have the top. So the best that you can do is to quickly join the top before you now begin to solve for the bottom. Let us join the top. You can join this much first like that. So quickly use the same thing to do the bottom.
that so that is for this top we also need to do show what is happening at the bottom here so you now start with that just like we did for the top the first one here is four this point you can see four is coming here this is four so you rule for the four you take it here you don't you don't need to get confused you can see let us look at four again this is four this one this one here is four this is four so you come and look for four here what is four here this is four here it's going to meet four here so don't get confused if you trace it back you see that it's take it back to four you can see this is four no, no, no. it's the one at the bottom that's why you have to be very very careful here this is four the bottom here is four so it is this one not the top yeah so the next one is three and five that is this point you rule three and five like this that is three and five three and five three and five this is three I'm going up to three here you can see this is three and five here and five is coming like this trace five three and five now the next one is this point this point which is two and six this point is two and six so let us rule two and six two and six this is two and six so let us trace two and six this is two here Two is here. This is two. It is here. It is at this point. That is two. And six. This is six. You trace six. Six. To meet six somewhere here. You can see this is two and six. This is six. This is two. So the next one is. What do we have here? One and seven. One and seven, which is here. So one and seven. So you rule it. This is one and seven. So where is one here? One is at the top. This is one. One is here and seven is at the bottom. Seven is here. See one and seven. Trace it back. You take it to one and seven. Now the next one is this one, which is twelve and eight. This point. Twelve and eight. Is 12 and 8 so what is 8 this is 8 here this is 8 8 is here and 12 this is 12 it's going like this 12 12 here this is 12 this is 8 let us trace it back to be sure you see 12 and 8 so the next one is this point which is 11 and 9 11 and 9 this point 11 and 9 this is 11 and 9 11 and 9 this is 11 Finally, the bottommost part, this point, which is 10, you 
can see this is 10 something like this to this point which is 10 so it's also 10 like that that is 10 so what is 10 here 10 is in the middle 10 is here so we have that so you can now join this you join it like this to go like this but this portion from here first of all there will be a vertical line here to connect this one you join this with the vertical line and you join this one to the vertical line that is the perimeter so this one it will now go like this thick line but from this portion it will be hidden line because this other portion is covering it so this point portion will be hidden line up to this point so let us quickly do what we want to do can we yes we can join this four we can join this four this and join this four you can just turn it because it is symmetrical it is expected that it should be able to work for the next four here too like that oh forgotten this one should be hidden line not thick continuous line it should be hidden line it should be hidden line so it should be drawn with hidden line so up to this point it should be drawn with hidden lines lines and the bottom will be joined with thick continuous line thick continuous line This one should be thick line. That's perimeter. Then you can now thicken out the edge, the outline of the standing circle. This one. So that is the solution to the question. Remember, these ones are hidden line. They should be done with dotted dash line, dash line. Right, this one will be thick continuous line. So that is the solution to the question. So ensure you watch the video, like the page, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. We'll meet in the next video.